Welcome, pilots! I'm back with my final video on the Minmatar Liberation Day event, where I'll take a quick look at whether the reenactment combat sites can be tackled by Alpha Pilots. As we're getting close to the end of the event, this one will be short and sweet. In my first video, where I flew a rupture, I initially felt this would be extremely difficult for an Alpha Pilot to pull off. Having flown it in a Vexor Navy issue, I now feel that the initial ISK investment might be the main barrier for younger Alpha Pilots. This is the Vexor Navy issue fit I've used to successfully run the sights. It makes use of a strong armor tank with high EM and thermal resists, plenty of capacitor support, and a full complement of Faction Navy drones for the majority of its damage output. The Alpha character I'm using has only trained their Galent Cruiser skill to level 3, though they do have their drone support skills trained as far as they can go. The first few waves of the reenactment combat sites are typically made up of a swarm of frigates. Your main concern will be keeping your drones alive throughout the entire encounter. With such a deep drone bay, the VNI makes this task fairly easy. You can see I have my drones organized into four groups. When one of my drones starts losing about half its shields, I order it back into my drone bay, only to pop a different one back out. To deal with the Inquisitors, I wait until they're targeting my drones, using that as an opportunity to close range and webify them. When the Prophecy showed up, I still had a handful of Punishers and Impairers left to deal with. Things felt a little hairy at first, but once the frigates were gone, my tank held steady against the Prophecy alone. While I do feel like the Vexor Navy is particularly strong, I suspect each player faction has its own option capable of tackling these sites for an Alpha Pilot. Caldarian Minmatar pilots may be forced into an out-of-character armor tank, however, as I'm skeptical that a shield tank would hold with so much of the incoming damage being EM and thermal. And that's all I have for the Minmatar Liberation Day event. Having recently completed my 13-part series on Blood Raider combat sites, I'll now be focusing on finishing my 4-part series dedicated to helping brand new players run regular combat sites. My next video will take a look at Amar Frigates. I have plenty of other EVE Online videos on this channel, with a companion website over at RileyEntertainment.com. Thanks for making it to the very end, and I hope to see you back on my channel soon.